Metal detectors work by transmitting an electromagnetic field from the search coil into the ground. The control box contains the detector's electronics. This is where the transmit signal is generated and the receive signal is processed and cover converted into a target response. Audio response, or the tone you hear from a received signal, is assigned a visual display indicator, or VDI for short. These VDI numbers are determined by the metal detector manufacturer, and the sound you hear associated with each number are determined by the makeup of the metallic item. The VDI is not always correct, as they are put there in the detector by the manufacturer from a plethora of re referenced items stored in the detector's memory. They should only be used as a guide, not an exact representation of the target indicated. Any metal objects or targets within the electromagnetic field will become energized and retransmit an electromagnetic field of their own. The detector's search coil receives a retransmitted field and alerts the user by producing a target response. Metal detectors are capable of discriminating between different target types and can be set to ignore unwanted targets. In this illustration, we see the metal detector front and side view. Under the search coil, you see the detector's electromagnetic field, and you see the metallic object's electromagnetic field, otherwise known as eddy currents. This is the field of electromagnetic energy produced when being infused with electromagnetic energy from the search coil. The eddy currents are what your receiving coil is returning back to you in the form of an audio response or target tone. In short, this is the basis of how your detector works. Stay tuned. I'll be releasing a video with all, all about frequency soon. Thank you for your time, and remember, if you found value in this explainer, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to never miss any content.